Libra, what's good? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading, may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Nine of Cups in Reverse. Someone's not happy without you. Someone's not happy without you. But keep in mind, this is someone here who's emotionally very, 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 very codependent on you. Could be you, could be them, okay? But someone out here is emotionally codependent on you, okay? This person's not happy without you. They see you as a wish fulfillment. The problem here is that this person out here looks to me as someone who's non-committal, all right? Why? Because this person looks like someone who's happy on their own. And this is one of the reasons why there could have been a split. There could have been a breakup, a separation between you guys, where you guys went your own ways. Because you wanted something much more fulfilling, more like the Ten of Cups. But this person stuck to the Nine of Cups. They stuck to whatever made them happy. Very smug, very selfish energy, okay? More about who thinks about themselves, okay? And till the time they were happy with you, they were happy with you. But the moment you asked for something more, or something that more that you deserve, or something more that the relationship deserved, or the next level, that's when they backed out, because of which you guys have are not on the same page right now tell me more yeah there is no communication right now okay there's no communication this person's pretty stressed out okay they're very stressed out right now this emotional uh, distress or this breakup they never expected you to break up with them first of all because they were getting everything that they wanted with you they didn't expect you to break up with them and right now they're taking a break from you this is radio silence between you guys, okay? But um, a lot of thinking about what, what went wrong. Well, clearly, they know what went wrong. But for them, it's like, I don't think this is the right time to communicate. They want to rest. They want to take a break. They've retreated from you. This is too heavy on them. And I think for right now, they just want to be left alone. So even if you try to talk to them, which I don't think you will, but even if you do... They're not gonna respond and nor do you can you expect any communication from them at least for the moment because they're taking a break they want to be left alone yeah that is unfinished business between you guys okay just one second so what's happening here is that there's this cycle that keeps going on, keeps repeating between you guys, okay? Something does not come to a successful completion between you guys, okay? You guys don't seem to end a chapter properly in this connection. Maybe you've tried to end this chapter with them, okay? Maybe it's over for you guys. Maybe it's over for you is what I mean. But for them, it's not over. They resist this ending here and that's why they're keeping this communication on hold they don't want to talk to you right now because for them it's not over for sure okay but the problem here is that this person keeps on repeating a cycle with you okay there's a negative pattern you know which keeps this this situation stagnant which keeps this connection stagnant you guys could be going in circles with each other okay so it's like every time this person you know something happens they ghost you and uh you feel that now things are going to be okay between you guys then they come back and you feel, okay, now this time it's going to be okay. But then again, the same cycle. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. You could be at a, a distance from this person. Okay, could be a long distance relationship. But this could also be a lot of emotional distance, physical distance for sure. But tell me more. Yeah, this person wants to now communicate. They want to now communicate. Okay. The good part is that this person is not overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. They're not reaching that point of burnout. If you give them this time, this period to rest, this period to be on their own here, they will come towards you with communication and they will give you clarity. Okay? They will give you clarity. They want to cut through the bullshit here. They want a brand new beginning with you, but this beginning is more like something that starts with honesty and transparency. Okay? Wait for this. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so the intention is there for sure okay but with the page of cups in reverse here and five of pentacles here this person has a lot of fear of rejection with you okay they don't know if you're gonna take them back they have abandonment issues rejection issues okay um so i think you're dealing with someone who's very immature very immature and this person has a very childish approach towards relationships okay this person is not really used to being in a relationship okay because this person knows they feel very deep 
okay they feel very deeply for you but the thing is that they're not the best at expressing their emotions okay this person is used to suppressing their emotions because they they have trust issues or i'm just getting someone here who has who doubts their intuition they're very intuitive okay there could be an age difference between you guys doesn't have to be but someone definitely younger that you're dealing with this person is very afraid and very scared what if you leave them out i think they could have gone through a relationship in the past where they opened up they were vulnerable okay and the opposite person here were and the person that they were dealing with they completely cut them off or they cheated on them and since then they've been in this uh, place of fear okay but i think they're trying to be too realistic here okay rather than going with their emotions all right tell me more tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Uh, you look like you're very focused on yourself, your money, your goals is what I'm getting here. You definitely look like someone, you know, who's just very focused on yourself, okay? Money looks really good for you. This is some long-term stability. You could be starting a new business, okay? But uh, you're very focused on stability, security, whatever this is, okay? Hmm. This person still lacks the courage to come towards you. Like I said, right? Whatever this is with the Ace of Swords here, right? Now, this could be two ways. Either there is communication coming in, okay, where this person wants a brand new start with you. But like the Ace of Swords, right? It's a two-edged sword. Now, the news can be good or bad. It can either be something where it's like a breakthrough in your relationship or it can just be something where it's like, you know, you're like, you know what? All right, I got the clarity. I got, I got the clarity. I got the closure. I'm done. Thank you. Okay? Because I do see here with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands in reverse here, you're very focused on your money, whilst the other person out here is still in two minds, okay? Someone who's being very indecisive. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? This person lacks the courage here. You know, this person is not very assertive about the actions that they take or about their, 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 their thought pattern. They're still not very confident about moving towards you. Let's see. There's still this lack out here but i feel there is communication or there is going to be a breakthrough here but the breakthrough again like i said good or bad it's going to depend okay it's going to depend um let's see what's the ace of swords let me try for the ace of swords yeah they're stressing the shit out because they're not you're not talking to them but yeah they want to come in they are coming in okay they are coming in they're rushing in and i think you know you know, you're, you're being very intuitive right now, okay? You feel a lot, you know a lot, but you're not saying it. You know that this person's coming towards you because this person goes through sleepless nights. They can't sleep. They're thinking about you and you're on their mind on a constant basis. And I think you want to clear the air is what I'm getting. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting here. Page of Cups and the No. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Who's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, it looks like you're moving forward. Yeah, you're moving forward. Okay, you don't want to give this a second chance out here because this is too much for you, right? That's a very big burden on you. This is something that's stressing you out. It's been a situation that you've been, you're at the end of the cycle here. You're ready to drop the load. It's a very difficult cycle that you deal with, okay? You've been doing all the work and you don't want to go through this entire thing again because now you're just relaxing. You don't want to stress. You're probably very focused right now on starting something new, creating something new, more on the business front, you know, probably uh, something that you're starting from home, a home business. But yeah, you're choosing to move forward. You're, you're, you're changing your luck is what I'm getting here. The universe is on your side. Libra, Libra, the universe is on your side. They're backing you up in whatever you're doing. So if you don't want to give this a second chance out here, it's all right because you're still doing good. You're still going to be okay on your own here. Okay. Because this is a very stressful cycle here and you're at the end of it. And you're like, no more. I don't want to do this again. Yeah. What's the king of wands in reverse? What's the king of wands in reverse? They want to come towards you, but they're in two minds. See, I said, right? This person doesn't trust you. No, I'm sorry. They don't trust you. Sorry. They don't trust their own decisions. This person's lacking that confidence to come towards you. They're lacking the courage. That's someone who's being a pussy out here. Okay. This person is holding back communication and delaying. Their, they, they're creating their own delays out here. They're trying to buy time. Because they know that things haven't been that good between you guys. Now, one thing I'm getting here, family could be an issue. Okay. Maybe their parents, their mom, their dad. Someone is... 
uh, they're having a hard time convincing them that they want to be with you but they definitely want to come towards you okay it's that willingness they need that willingness to make this a success here but uh, again they they they're holding back for some reason and i feel family could be family and distance between you guys could play a very big role which is blocking this person from coming towards you so for i that's why for for souls here they're doing a lot of thinking out here they're doing a lot of thinking out here um tell me what's the best possible uh, outcome give me the best possible outcome for this spread for libra what's the best possible outcome i'm sorry guys i'm doing a very random spread out here what's the best possible outcome this person knows that they love you a lot okay they want a brand new beginning with you they do but the problem here is that uh, they're still wanting to be isolated because um again like i said they're lacking the strength they're lacking that inner will to make things happen i think because the breakup has been so bad or it's been so long that they kept you on hold here that when they come towards you it's like you know what you're just going to be like no thanks i'm okay on my own i think that's what i'm getting here this person may come towards you with trying to manipulate you okay because they don't know any straight way out of how to get you of how to want you back yeah they want to talk for sure okay probably an email text or phone call or probably face to face here they know that they want a resurrection they want to come towards you with an apology okay but i think it's that time frame here they are very contracted in their head they don't know what to do their head says something else their heart says something heart says something else this person out here has had a habit of thinking of the worst that can happen between you guys or they just have a very negative attitude towards this relationship okay like oh this is the worst this can never work out nothing will ever work out they're never going to take me back libra's never accepting me back blah 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 which is why they're breaking their own confidence out here okay But I think with the helmet here, I feel they will still come towards you. I feel there is communication. Okay, I see the Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Um, I do see communication. Okay, I know that there is going to be a breakthrough. It's going to take some time, though. It's going to take some time, but they will come towards you. But I feel that you are going to prefer to stay solo. You're going to prefer to stay on your own because there's something here that you still want to think about. You don't trust this person. You just want to do a lot of uh, contemplation on: Do I want this? Do I still want this? Do I want them back? Or am I okay on my own, etc. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.